Alright, so now we're going to learn how to combine a KPI together with any other type of charts, like for example, the bar charts. So now we're going to go and build view in order to compare two years. In order to do that, we're going to get the same stuff. So let's get the subcategories to the rows. And then here we have the sales of 2022. Move it to the columns over here. So with that, we got our bar charts, but I would like to move it from automatic to par in order to make everything stable and not later break in our visualization. So the next step, I would like to go and add as well the coloring. So let's take the sum of sales 22 and put it in the colors. And now the next step, let's take the 2021 as a reference inside our view. So let's move it to details and then let's go to the axis, right click on it and let's add reference line. So here we would like to have have the value of 2021 for each category so let's switch it to pair cell and then select the 2021 and then let's go and hide the labels this is only customizations then let's move it to a little bit heavier line and then increase the opacity and as well change it to orange so that's it let's go and hit ok so now in order to see the data better, let's switch it from standard to entire view. And with that, we got a reference from the previous year and the parts are the current year. So with that, you can see quickly the differences between the two years, but we are not done yet. This is only the bar chart. Now we have to go and add a KPI for it. So here we have to define the rule of the KPI and this time it's going to be easy. If the current year is less than the previous year, then it's going to be red. If it is more or equal, it's going to be green. So let's go and define this rule as usual we're going to go and create a new calculated field we can call it kpi colors so now we're going to go and define the rule we will use as well the fl statement so if the sum of sales of 2021 is higher or equal to the sum of sales of 2021 then we are safe it's going to be green let me just make it a little bit bigger in order to see everything. But if the condition is not fulfilled, what's going to happen? We will have bad performance. So it's going to be else, red, and then ends. So this is our rule. Let's go and hit OK. So now for the KPI, we need another chart inside this view. But since it is like a dimension, if we bring it to the view, it will not split it to two different visuals. So in order to generate another chart, we will use the trick of using the average of zero. So we have to create a placeholder average of zero. And with that, as you can see, we will get a new chart on the right side. So in this measure, we will go and configure our KPI. Let's go and switch to this marks. And now we're going to switch it from bars to shapes. It's like we are building any other KPI and I will go and get rid of of those informations and now we're going to go and get our new calculated field the kbi rule and put it on the shapes and next we're going to go and define the shapes of our kbi so let's click on shapes and let's say if it's green then it's going to go up and if it's red it's going to go down that's it for the shapes click ok and as well we want to change the coloring of those stuff so let's take the kbi colors hold control and put it on the colors and let's go and assign it so edit colors green gonna be green and red gonna be red so that's it click ok so now we have our kpi on the right side so we can go and make it a little bit bigger in order to see the shapes so now we have two different charts the next step we're gonna go and use the dual axis and that's because they have different shapes so let's go to the right side and have the dual axis and as usual we're going to go and synchronize the axis and remove one of them let's go to the average as well and then go and disable show header with that we hide it so with us we got the two kbis on top of each other's but still here we have an issue as you can see the icons of the kbis are exactly on the top of the edge of the bars and that's because everything is starting from zero and we have here the average of zero so now what we're going to do we're going to move it a little bit to the left sides using the negative values so let's go to the average of zero and switch it from zero to minus 10k so with that we can see our kpi is perfectly on the left side of the bars and we can see immediately where we are doing bads so here we can see that almost all of the subcategories are doing great. So we have all those green icons, but only two, the envelopes and the machines are doing bad. And that's because the sales of the current year is less than the sales of the previous year. So with that, we have learned how to combine the KPI charts with any other charts. It should not be a bar chart. It could be an area or a line chart.